streets of change are related to lions. Let's investigate that statement. Well, I'm a remain in the setting we have been in, where we're looking at intervals of the form A, comma, A plus H. And we have a curve, some function f of x, a secant line is a line connecting two points on a curve. And for our purposes, those are going to be the first and last points. The slope of a line is the rise over the run. If this is the point a comma f of a, and this is a plus h comma f of a plus h, the rise over the run, well, here's the rise and here's the run. Those A's cancel. And this is the average rate of change formula. So the average rate of change on an interval is the slope of the secant line connecting the first and the last point on the interval. Average rate of change we know is related to instantaneous rate of change. We let H go to zero and A plus H therefore goes to A. And we look at what happens to the average rate of change. Well, as H goes to zero, our average rate of change changes. And of course, our secant line changes. If our interval is now this, then our secant line is now that. As H gets closer and closer to zero, the average rate of change gets closer and closer to the instantaneous rate of change. And as the average rate of change changes, becomes closer to the instantaneous rate of change, these secant lines are also changing. You see these secant lines correspond to smaller and smaller H values. And just like the average rate of change is approaching a number, these secant lines are approaching a line called the tangent line. And what the tangent line is in terms of rates of change, the tangent line through a point is the line through that point whose slope is the instantaneous rate of change at that point. What's our motivation for this? Tangent lines might sound kind of abstract, but they show up very frequently 
frequently in real-world situations, engineering problems, for example. Because tangent lines give the directions of curves. For example, imagine this curve represents a road, and a car is driving along this road. And at this point on the road, the steering wheel fails or locks up, and the car loses the ability to turn. What will happen? Well, if the car can't turn, it must go in a straight line until it hits something. But what straight line will it go in? Well, it will go along the tangent line at that point. 